lymphoma. <clears throat> lymphoma is a malignant tumor of lymphoid tissue. What is the predisposing factor <clears throat> for lymphoma? The exact cause and the exact predisposing factor for lymphoma is unknown. But it may be due to viral infection like the Stein Bar virus, which is endemic in Africa, or it may be due to immune deficiency like prolonged immunosuppression after organ transplantation or immune deficiency due to AIDS. Also, lymphoma may accompany autoimmune diseases like Jogren's disease, which is disease, autoimmune disease in the salivary glands, or autoimmune disease like systemic lupus erythematosus. What is the pathology of lymphoma? The site of lymphoma may be in any lymphoid tissue. Lymphoma may affect any lymphoid tissue, mainly lymph nodes, spleen, liver, thymus gland, or bone marrow or less commonly affecting the Byers batches in the terminal area. Types of uh, lymphoma. <coughs> lymphoma is classified into Hodgkin lymphoma in one hand, non-Hodgkin lymphomas in the other hand, and the rarely type called Birkitt's lymphoma. What is the features of Hodgkin lymphoma? The secret word in Hodgkin lymphoma is moderate malignancy. Usually, Hodgkin lymphoma is mild to moderate malignancy. Therefore, Hodgkin lymphoma show moderate enlargement of lymph node. And Hodgkin lymphoma is the commonest type of lymphoma because it is uh, mild to moderate malignancy is spread to the capsule of lymph node and to a surrounding structure is delayed. <clears throat> Since uh, Hodgkin lymphoma is a malignant tumor. What are the methods of uh, spread of this malignancy? Like any malignancy spread may be direct, lymphatic, or blood spread. We said that direct spread to the capsule and surround structure is delayed. Blood spread to extranodal organs like liver, spleen, bone marrow is also late. But lymphatic spread is common. And the main line of spread of lymphoma is lymphatics. We all know that uh, if this lymph node, the lymph enters this lymph node in afferent lymphatic. The lymph circulate in the lymph node and they leave the lymph node through efferent lymphatic. Therefore, there are afferent and the efferent lymphatics. Malignancy in case of lymphoma usually pass in 
the lymph vessels in the afferent lymphatics to the lymph node. Then leave the lymph node through the efferent lymphatic to the other groups of lymph node. This is the main line of spread. Um, cut section. Cut section of the uh, Hodgkin lymphoma is characteristic. It is pinkish white with minimal area of hemorrhage, necrosis, and degeneration. In the other hand, <coughs> what are the pathological features of non Hodgkin lymphoma? Non Hodgkin lymphomas are less common, and the secret word of non Hodgkin lymphoma is right, please. Beside non Hodgkin lymphoma, highly malignant because it is highly malignant, therefore, the lymph node enlarges rapidly, markedly enlarged with early invasion to the capsule and surrounding structure, early spread through lymphatics to the other groups of lymph node, and early blood spread to the extra nodal organs. Because non hodgkin lymphoma is highly malignant, it is spread early and massively, directly blood and lymphatic. In cut section, non hodgkin lymphoma is grayish white grayish white with wide areas of hemorrhage and necrosis and degeneration in cut section. <clears throat> the third rare type of lymphoma is Burkitt's lymphoma, which is thought to be related to the Stein bar virus, which causes lymphoma in patients with coronic malaria. And you all know that chronic malaria is very common in Eastern Africa. And chronic malaria in Eastern Africa leading to poor immunity, which predisposed to the Stein bar virus, which lead to reticuloendothelial hyperplasia and any hyperplasia breeds both to malignancy. Microscopically, the characteristic feature of Hodgkin lymphoma, which is a communist lymphoma, is this cell. This cell is called Dorothy. Dorothy Reed Sternberg cells. Dorothy Reed Sternberg cells. These cells are large, giant cells, multinucleated, containing from two to eight nuclei, arranged in mirror image like in the center of the cell. Read Sternberg cells, large giant cell, multinucleated, containing two to eight nuclei, arranged in the center of the cell like mirror image. The cellular origin of Hodgkin disease is not known, and Hodgkin disease is further subdivided into four histological subtypes. What are the four histological subtypes? First of all, there is Reed Sternberg cells. Dorothy, Reed Sternberg cells, this is Hodgkin lymphoma. And if there is 
excessive lymphocytes around these cells. This is stage called lymphocytic predominance. And if there is excessive lymphocytes, this represents the immune reaction. Normal immune reaction against this malignancy. Because immune reaction is very good and there is lymphocytic predominance, excessive lymphocytes, this stage is considered the best prognosis if you take lymph node biopsy and you find lymphocytic predominance, this is best prognosis. Um, this is another feature for reed Sternberg cells and surrounded by normal lymphocytes. If lymphocytes are excessive, this stage is called lymphocytic predominance. The commonest histological subtype of Hodgkin disease is excessive fibrosis in the capsule. And the fibrous tissue divides the lymph node into compartments. If there is excessive fibrosis, fibrous thickening of the capsule, and the fibrous septa divides the lymph node into compartments, this stage is called the nodular sclerosis. And this is the commonest histological finding of Hodgkin disease. The lymph node is divided into nodules by fibrous tissue, therefore it's called nodular sclerosis. This is carrying also this stage good prognosis. The third histological subtype of Hodgkin disease is under microscope. Mixed cells are present. Lymphocytes, eosinophils, plasma cells, neutrophils, any cell of immune system present here. If there is mixed cells, this type is called the mixed cellularity. And this carrying a bad prognosis. The very, very bad prognosis and the worst type of Hodgkin lymphoma is from the name, lymphocytic depletion. Lymphocytic depletion, histologically, lymphocytes surrounding the reed Sternberg cells are minimal. Minimal lymphocytes around the malignant cells. This is called lymphocytic depletion. And the prognosis is very bad. Why? Minimal normal lymphocytes represent a poor immunological reaction against this malignancy. Poor immunological reaction against this malignancy is a late stage in any malignancy. And they mean dissemination and very poor burgers. Therefore, from the histological finding, any dorsu, dorsi, redisterned cells, any dorsu redisterned by cells, this is Hodgkin lymphoma. If surrounded by excessive lymphocytes like this, it is lymphocytic predominance. If there is thickening of the fibra of the capsule by fibrosis, and the fibrous septa divide the architecture of 
the lymph node into compartment. This is called the nodular sclerosis, and this is the commonest finding. The lymphocytic predominance and nodular sclerosis carry good prognosis, but if there are mixed cells, this is called the mixed cellularity, or there is scanty lymphocytes around the tumor, this is called the lymphocytic depletion or mixed cellularity, which is carrying poor prognosis. In the next hand, non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma are classified according to the cell type. If there are malignant histocytes, this is called histocytic lymphoma. If there is lymphoblastic malignant cells, this is called lymphoblastic lymphoma. If the malignant cells are T lymphocytes, this is called T cell lymphoma. Or the malignant cells are B lymphocytes, this is called B cell lymphoma. And you should take care of that in non hodgkin lymphoma, no. Door 3, read Sternberg cells. No, Doro C, read Sternberg cells in non hodgkin lymphoma. Um, the rare type, which is called the Berkitz lymphoma, is a malignant tumor of B lymphocyte. What are the staging of uh, lymphoma? Staging is very, very important in any tumor to show the prognosis and to show the proper line of treatment. Stage one of lymphoma is affection of lymph nodes in one anatomical region. One, one, one anatomical region. Stage one, example, enlargement of lymph node in the neck only. But there is second stage. Second, second. What is this? Enlargement of lymph nodes in more than one anatomical region on one side of the diaphragm. In this picture, affection of lymph nodes in two anatomical sites, cervical and axillary, and both above the diaphragm. This is stage two. Similarly, if there is enlargement of lymph nodes in the inguinal and abdominal, this is stage two more than one anatomical region below the diaphragm, one side of the diaphragm. Therefore, above the diaphragm is one side and below the diaphragm is the other side. And stage three, affection of lymph nodes on both sides of the diaphragm. This is the diaphragm. Enlargement of lymph nodes on both sides, stage is three. If there is enlargement of the spleen and the affection of the spleen, this is called stage three S, which S means affection of the spleen. What is this disseminated extra nodal affection called the stage four? like liver, bones, therefore disseminated extra nodal affection is called the stage four. Each stage, one, two, three, four, are subdivided into A or B, according to the presence of systemic manifestation. If there are affection of lymph nodes, stage one, without fever, loss of weight, sweating. This is stage A. Stage 1A, no systemic manifestation, but if there is affection of lymph nodes with fever, night sweat, 
loss of weight, itching. This is called the stage 1B. So for A or B, according to the presence of systemic manifestation or not. Also, E. E localized extranodal organ. Localized extranodal organ. If there is affection of lymph nodes in one extranodal organ, the same staging. But we add E. Therefore, it may be 3 E or 2 E. Okay, this is the staging of lymphoma. Thank you for good listening and good luck.